Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I apply my wigs. I actually get a lot of questions about this and I've never made a video showing you guys how I put them on or apply them. If I'm being honest, whenever I wear a wig, normally I just throw it on and put a beanie on top and don't secure it and don't do anything because I'm extremely lazy. I'm going to show you how I do it properly. So first I take my hair and I split it down the middle and I split it all the way back. You're definitely going to need the got to be glued spray. I have both the styling glue and the spray glue, but I'm gonna use mostly this one. So I'm gonna start off by just going along my hairline and just smoothing everything back and getting it out of the way. Then I am just going to braid all of this extra hair. A lot of people like to do braids, like braid their hair back, which is fine too. I don't know how to do French braids, I just know how to do Dutch braids, so I can't do that. <laughs> and then I just take a small elastic, secure the bottom. Okay, so once you have both of those braided, I take bobby pins and then I just secure them in the back of my head. Let me spin around and show you. So I just secure them like this. You just need to make sure you're trying to get them as flat to your head as possible so that way there's not like a big bulge. So let me turn around and show you now that I've secured both braids. All right, so I wanna talk a little bit about the wig that I'm using today because I know you guys will probably ask. This wig is absolutely beautiful, so I just wanna to like touch on it a little bit, tell you guys where I got it from, if I like it, what I recommend. So this wig right here is the one that we're going to be applying today. This is the natural wave of the wig. It's absolutely gorgeous. I washed it with purple shampoo and then I just let it air dry and it has this beautiful natural wave to it. So this wig is from Donna Love Hair. I feel like you guys probably have heard of this brand before. They're a very popular brand. I think they specialize more in synthetic wigs. They emailed me and asked if they could send me a wig to try and I was like, of course, I'm always looking for new wigs. They asked if I wanted to try a synthetic wig and I was like, you know, no, I'm not really interested in that because at the time I was thinking about about dyeing a wig, so you can't dye a synthetic wig. So I was like, no, I'm not really interested in a synthetic wig, but I would be interested in trying a human hair wig. So they're like, of course, pick out whatever wig you want. And this is the one that I picked out because I think maybe I wanna dye this wig eventually. I don't know what, if you guys have any recommendations on what colors we should dye this wig, leave a comment down below, let me know because I'm undecided. Part of me wants to keep it blonde because I obviously loved when I had blonde hair and I miss it sometimes. And sometimes I like to throw on a wig like this when I go out to the store or just out and about and running errands because I get really tired of like people staring at me and asking me the same questions over and over. Sometimes I like to just throw on a wig and look normal and then nobody stares at me and everyone leaves me alone. I will leave all the information and the link to this wig in the description down below in case you guys are interested. Like I said, they do specialize in synthetic wigs. I definitely think I'm gonna try some of their synthetic wigs because I've heard amazing things about them. I am so amazed at how good this wig is. The hair is, I'm sure you can tell how thick, like I can't even grab it all. There we go. This wig is, so thick. So this is a lace front wig. There are three clips in the top to secure it to your hair. And then in the bottom, there is a couple clips and there is also this strap right here. So you can adjust it to your head size. So there are these strappy clips on either side. So you can just pull them and then slide it into whatever slot you need to, to make the wig a little bit smaller for your head shape. So it came with this cute Donna Love pink and black detangler brush and they send you a wig cap, which obviously is amazing because you need a wig cap to wear a wig. This is the wig that I'm gonna be wearing today. It's amazing, it's beautiful, it's long, she's thick. So what I do is I put my hands inside of it like this and then I stretch it out and put it on my head. Thank you. 
It also comes in handy to have a rat tail comb or a comb that has a point on it like this one. I like to use it to just take all this hair that comes out and just push it back in. So then what I like to do is take the got to be glued spray and I just spray my hairline and as you guys can see, I'm like drenching it. All right, so once I have that sprayed, I'm gonna take a hair dryer and just blow this until it's dry and then I'll be right back. So then once that is dry, I take these little tiny scissors, these are my eyebrow trimming scissors, and I use this and then I go around and I cut all the way around here closest to my hairline, and then I just cut all of the excess uh, wig cap off. I would definitely recommend doing this before you do your makeup because you're gonna have to touch up your foundation and everything from where all the glue is. Also be really careful when you're doing this because it's so easy to accidentally cut your own hair. So now we need to cut the lace off of the wig, which in my opinion is one of the most important steps. Wigs that are lace front, synthetic or real human hair, come with this lace on them. Some people like to leave a little bit of extra lace. I personally don't. I like to cut as close to the hairline as I can on these wigs. So now that we have the lace cut and the wig cap on, I go in with my got to be glued gel this time. I just run it over the wig cap and my skin because when we lay down the wig, we want the wig to stick to our skin. I'm gonna go ahead and use a hair blow dryer until this gets tacky and then I'll be back to show you guys how to stick it on and glue it down. So we take our wig and I just have my fingers in the top like this. And then I just push down. And once I have the top on, I just go to the back and grab it and pull it down and make sure the back is secured also. So once I have it on, I just basically keep pressing down around the front to make sure that the wig is being secured by the glue. And as you can see, when I pull this back, it's like glued down to my skin now. So now that the wig's on, I'm gonna go in with foundation and fix all the makeup that came off. A lot of people like to tweeze the part line to make it a little bit further apart. Also, putting foundation on the part makes it look a little bit more realistic, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some foundation and just stamp it in my part line. So I'm gonna go ahead and go straighten it real quick, and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like straightened. Okay guys, so I straightened it for you, like semi-straight I should say, because it is so hard to style a wig when it's on your head. So when I take it off, I'll have to like section everything really well and straighten it or style it however I want. But it is semi-straight for now, and it looks so nice. It is so long on me. I am 5'10", in case you guys didn't know, so this is so long, I'm probably gonna give it a trim. So that is it, it is definitely hard to do. Like it takes multiple, multiple times of trying to apply a wig for it to like look nice. That's why normally I just like throw on a beanie and go because I don't wanna have to worry about it. And normally when I'm wearing wigs, it's for such a short amount of time, like going to the store or to the gas station that I don't wanna take the time to like lay down a wig really nicely and make it look more natural. This is a very nice wig. I love it. It's soft. The color is honestly cute. Should I keep it blonde or should I dye it a different color? So leave a comment down below letting me know what we should do with this wig. That is all for today's video, guys. Again, I will leave a link down below to this wig and to the website. If I have a coupon code for Donna Love Hair, I will make sure to put it in the description with the website for the company. If you can't afford a human hair wig, totally understandable, I would try a synthetic one. Human hair wigs are very, very pricey because again, it is human hair and they have to like, 
hand sew it in and lace front wigs are even more expensive so if you've never tried a wig before i would try a synthetic wig before you like shell out a lot of money to get a human haired wig that is all for today's video guys make sure to check out my instagram the link to that will be in the description down below give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i love you guys so much and until next time guys stay weird Thank you.